So behind me here, I've got a 2005 Mercedes ML 350, which is also known as W163, uh, borderline 164, because this was like right in the middle of when they transitioned to 164, this is a 163. So if you guys have a W163 Mercedes, uh, this video will apply to you guys. So not all Mercedes ML line comes with a like a tow hitch and a wire harness so if you guys have one of these awesome if you don't you guys can pick up this wire harness on ebay for about 129 dollars all the way to 145 dollars so that's what i've been observing uh there and this is going to be a pretty straightforward installation because it's all going to be plug and play now you can buy aftermarket like curtis or u-haul they do make an aftermarket wire harness for you guys and they're a lot cheaper like around under 100 dollars but with those uh, set up, you got to cut the wires and do other funky things. So if you guys are fortunate and be patient enough to uh, find one on eBay, I, hi I highly recommend getting the OE only because it's a plug and play. You don't have to cut your wire harness. Okay. So if you guys do buy this on eBay or wherever, maybe Craigslist, this is what you should expect to get. So first of all, when you guys are looking on the pictures, make sure that all the looms, wire harness, everything is, uh, is there, nothing is cut up. Um, this one has a one female connector side here. This is what's gonna plug right into your, your factory wire loom inside, which I'll show you in just a little bit. Uh, this one also has a rubber kind of a grommet here that's gonna go underneath the body into the behind where the um, upper wheel well is. And then this right here has the actual bracket that's gonna to attach to the frame on your ML and then your seven prong adapter right here. And of course, I don't have a seven prong on my trailer or my jet ski, so you can buy little adapters that converts from seven to a four way flat. So it's gonna plug right in there. So if you guys are looking for this whole kit, make sure it has all these parts to your, whatever you're bidding on eBay or on Craigslist. Okay, just wanna show you guys that. All right, so to take the bumper off, uh, you just need to take off four bolts, which is one here, and there's two on both sides right here, and these are just 10 millimeters, and then one right here. Once you take those four bolts off, this whole bumper should slide right off. Okay, you can just grab right here and pull. Come to the other side. So on my passenger side, I've got this wire coming down from the vehicle to the bumper. And I'm thinking this might be the airbag sensor. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna swing, swing this thing out here without stretching the cable. Let me get a little different chair. All right, so I just put this bumper on my chair with the cooler elevated so that this wire is not being stretched out. On the driver's side, you'll see these two air vents. You wanna take off, I believe it's this one right here. And I believe this thing just pulls straight out. Oh, shoot. Oh, that's not good. Oh, these are really stuck, stuck. Uh oh, ah, bummer. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, so this thing just basically pops right out, but because it's so old uh, and brittle, so I'm gonna go ahead and try, when I'm done here, try and put these things back on here and reuse it. And basically all it does is it allows the air to flow through your cab and then out to the outside. And when you close the door, you know, your, your inside could be pressurized. So these little vents helps push some of the pressure from the inside of the cab and out, okay? And then I'm gonna reach back here and the wire harness is right here, okay? All right, so let me show you guys underneath, underneath the bumper. Uh, there's actually a grommet right there. Let me see if I can turn this up a little bit. So there's that rubber grommet right there. It's protecting the elements from coming inside. So what I'm gonna do is take that out, I'm gonna feed, feed the wire through there, and then 
uh, to that vent. All right, so I took the, the little electric control box off of the water harness here so I can feed this whole thing through. Come on. Ooh, it barely fits in there. Not sure if it's gonna fit or not. Oh, here we go. It's just really tight, okay. Hmm. Oh. Okay. Come on, little bugger. Okay. That's in there. Uh, the second loom. There we go. Oop. Come on. There we go. Okay, and then that rubber grommet, we're gonna fit it back in here. We have to do this last. Let's see if this will hold it up there. Oh yeah, there we go. Brilliant. Okay, so now we can go ahead and connect our, our box. So let me get that ready. Let me go ahead and, ah, okay, it goes like this. So this thing only goes on one way, although the connector looks almost identical in size, but this thing only goes on one way. And this one goes in like this. Okay, so there you go. I'm gonna just kind of push that back out of the way like this. Okay. There's a rubber pad from earlier that I pushed up. I'm gonna push the rubber pad back down just to help keep the elements from coming into this wiring area. Okay, so to attach this guy right here, there should, there should be a factory pre-installed holes already in the bumper, uh, and, but it looks like we gotta take this plastic little, it's not plastic, it's little uh, sheet off. So to do that, there are one, two, three, four, 10 millimeter bolts. Okay. Then just let this thing hang down like this. There are straps that kind of hold this thing together. So hopefully I don't have to take that strap off. Let's take a look. So I went through all my bins here where I keep all my spare bolts and I can not find a single one to fit here for this bracket. So I went down to Home Depot and I bought a variety pack of different sizes. And of course, none of them fit. So what I'm gonna do here is the closest thing that fits in here is a M6, and, but the pitch is wrong. So this is a M6 by one inch pitch here at Home Depot. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna tap it out so that this can fit in there. So I already, I've already done one side already. Okay, just so you guys can. Okay, so when you tap things out, go all the way through. Okay, now. Beauty. Okay, perfect. And line it up just like that. Perfect. Okay, when I broke this earlier, I was struggling to get it out of here. Well, there's nothing really seems like attached that's secured to here. Um, it's just on here really snug. And because it's all so old, it just, you know, these plastics they kind of wear out and that's why I broke this. But to put this back together, let me show you how to do this. Now, uh, there are this little taper round piece right at the bottom here and one of the rubber flaps here is tapered on the bottom and on, on the, these uh, vertical or the horizontal blades, if you will, little dimples. I don't know if you guys can see it on the camera and then there's little holes in these little rubber uh, flaps. So what you want to do is basically 
line up these holes to that rubber piece and it, it'll just kind of stay there. And then the bottom one here is a special one. It's a tapered one. So you want to make sure that one goes down here. Okay, like so. And then the last one goes in here like this. Okay, so it just kind of basically hangs in, hangs just like that. Once you get to this part, grab your other piece and you're gonna just carefully snap it in here. Okay, just like that. And there you go. Okay, and now we're ready to snap, snap this thing in here. And again, you're just gonna push it in and that's it. If you guys want to know how to install this hitch on your ML350, I'll put a card right here. So make sure you guys click on that after the video. So one thing I want to point out to you guys before we put the bumper on is there's actually, there's a tab right here and like a little guide down at the bottom here. So when we put the bumper on, you got to make sure we slide both ends together on this little tab. So let me show you what it looks like on the bumper side. It's right here. This, this is where you gotta slide this tab in here, okay? And then, and then make sure that this bottom guide also lines up down at the bottom here. There you go, just kind of rest it on one side there. Come, come over to the other side and just get it started. There we go. Just get the ends hooked up and that's all there's to it. So let me show you guys one more time from this angle. So again, take one side and line it up and just kind of let the bumper hang on that tab like so. Come over to the other side. Oops. There you go, just a little bit. Over here, do the same thing. Then you can kind of push in equally on both sides. There you go. And then come down here where those four bolts go and make sure those four line up. That lines up, that lines up, this lines up. Okay, there you go. That's, this is one of the easiest bumper I've ever taken off. All right, guys, so the, for, for the moment of truth here, we're going to go ahead and plug in my multi 7-pin uh, to, to four-way flat adapter. You can pick this up on Amazon for un, under 20 bucks. I'll leave the links down below. So we'll go ahead and slide that guy in there. We're going to go ahead and throw our test light on here, okay, on the four-way. And this little tester light should come on. There it is. Perfect, let me check the other one. And there you go. So that's all there's to it. I just hope you guys enjoyed the short video on the install of the wiring harness. And if you guys liked the video, I'd love it if you guys would give me a thumbs up and leave your thoughts down below in the comments. So one thing I would do want to mention, I'm not sure if I mentioned before, is that you can buy an aftermarket from Kerr or U-Haul, some other brands that make these uh, multi-universal kind of wire harness for your rig, but they do require a little bit of uh, splicing into your existing wires. I'm not a big fan of that, so I highly recommend, again, go on the internet and look on eBay. Seems to be the best place to look for these OE type wires and parts for your older vehicle. So with that being said, thanks for watching. God bless. We'll see you guys next video.